Hey, hello everybody. This is a message for all of you who are thinking to take PhD education and giving you some advice about what makes a PhD candidate an attractive one for universities. So we'll discuss seven points. Would encourage you to think and consider each. First, the candidate must be very passionate and interested in what they're going to research. They're going to spend a few years studying something, and therefore they need to keep being motivated to study the same thing. And that comes from personal interest. So make sure that whatever you come up with is not somebody else's idea, but your own interest and something you would like to focus on. And the second point, it's really important that that person will be both curious and playful in terms of using different methodologies. We use qualitative, we use quantitative methodologies in research. Whatever it may be, it's important that you enjoy using methods and willing to explore alternative ways of methods, understanding what's the benefits and the costs and what's best or worst with using each and being able to reflect on what is most relevant for your own research purpose. Third, it's also important to engage in both abstract thinking and more specific thinking. So you will need to address theory and see how it can relate to the empirical world, and you will need to look into the empirical world and decide how it can be connected into theory. So, being able to think both abstractly and at a very concrete level is necessary. Fourth, a PhD candidate needs to be a good communicator, uh, both orally and in writing. They need to be able to form ideas and convince others about them. Here, it is about writing clearly or presenting clearly, and at the same time also have empathic abilities to understand the audiences. You're not writing for yourself, you're writing for an audience of readers, reviewers, and peers. And it's very important to understand what interests them and what will get them to follow your work. Fifth, it's also important to be a very hard worker. Academic work implies redoing things many times. Rewriting, collecting more data, revisiting methods, revisiting models, and that means dramatic changes to whatever work you do throughout the process. You will receive a lot of feedback and comments from various sources, and you will need to redo, rewrite, and reconsider things. You should be able to do that, and they devote the time and energy, and to maintain that level of energy, even though you may need to redo things. This is directly connected to the sixth point, issues of humility. You need to be able to accept criticism. Most of the time, you will receive reviews uh, from peers, from colleagues, from supervisors, journal reviewers, whoever they may be, and they will have a lot to say about your work. Most of it will be critical. How to improve, how to change, how to expand, how to reconsider your work. You need to address these comments both respectfully and in a, in a way that you'll be able to show that you have actually did something about them in your work. So being able to accept criticism, constant criticism, is very important for the job. Finally, you need to be reflective and critical, not only about taking materials that others have rewritten written and rewriting them in your own work. It's about forming your own opinions, being able to criticize others' work and come up with new suggestions on how to improve, how to develop, how to expand, whatever has been discussed or presented. So you should have an opinion, a position that you can reflect as your own. Very important point here is the ability to argue contradictory opinions about the same subject matter. If you're only able to see something from one-sided perspective, 
then it's going to be very difficult for you to engage in academic work. But if you're able to see both sides and argue for both in equal level of energy and dedication, then probably you're a good uh, candidate for such work. So these are my recommendations and insights, and I wish you all good luck in your applications and success in your academic careers.